Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. I've got a little change of scenery today. How about this? One of the nicest toy haulers you will find on the market. I've got a 2020 Grand Design Momentum 397TH toy hauler to show you. Uh, this guy's roughly 45 foot long, 12 and a half foot of garage space. But here's the deal. Their garage space is not just garage space. It's finished out, it's got its own bathroom, it's got a uh, like a booth style dinette that lowers down, that turns into a bed, and then another bed on top of that. Um, can't wait to show you this one. Uh, really, really, really high construction, high quality construction from the folks at Grand Design. Aluminum framed toy hauler, fiberglass exterior. Um, it's just nice, I like it. Um, four awnings total, as you can see. There's three on the uh, passenger side and then one that extends out over the rear patio. So let's go around it. Uh, this one was built uh, December of 2019. So it is classified as a quote unquote pre-COVID build. Yes, pre-COVID, uh, December of 2019. A uh, lot of the big thermal pane, uh, huge picture windows in it all around. It's got the 5,500 watt Onan propane powered generator uh, down in that lower front compartment with 40 original hours. And hey, check out those lights on the front. This thing at night, oh my gosh, lights up. Looks awesome. Uh, three slides, as you can see, two here on the driver's side. There's one big slide out on the passenger side. Uh, holds 152 gallons of fresh water 100 gallons of gray, and then around 50, I think 52 gallons of black water, if I read the specs correctly. Triple axle, uh, again, aluminum construction, fiberglass exterior, but the, the frame is aluminum on it. Propane furnace, uh, propane hot water heater, three of the big roof airs on it, so three air conditioners, one of them in the back garage, one in the main living area and then one up front in the master bedroom. I've got the door lowered down right now with the uh, the gates up so you can see turns into a little patio area. Excellent place for your kids or your puppy dogs or whatever to uh, to go out and hang out and play or heck even some adults that you're trying to keep gathered up there. All right so uh, big patio awning comes off the back three awnings as you can see here on the passenger side, you've got your own door to enter and exit the garage area. Uh, you've got outdoor entertainment with uh, TV, smart TV, that is, and it's got all uh, Rockford Fosgate stereo system in it. And look at those windows. That's what I was mentioning a second ago. Big picture windows in the main living area, lots of lighting, all LED lighting through this coach, or excuse me, trailer. I'm used to saying coach on all the other videos. A uh, few underbelly storages there in the front. So we'll take a walk through the inside here. Even some lighting down below there, you can see, I like it. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. Check us out at chasecoach.com. We buy, we sell, we trade. Nationwide delivery, we also finance. 2020 Grand Design Momentum 397TH Rockford Fosgate sound system. This has the WeatherTech, uh, the Arctic insulation, what they call the Four Seasons weather package. All right, here's the cool part. Check this out. So these two slides, this one on the driver's side, and then this one on the passenger side, when they open up, gives you tons of room inside this thing. Uh, Four-door fridge, stainless, face on it. Uh, we've got a three-burner gas cooktop, little oven with a matching um, stainless drawer below it, convection microwave overhead. Um, something I could not believe was how big the little pantry area was like it. Big door opens up, easy to load and unload all your groceries into it. Uh, double basin, stainless sink, on, and the sink is on a middle island, as you can see. 
Uh, so the sink stationary doesn't move, so it's right there in the middle. Every one of these chairs over here reclines, so you've got one, two, three, five reclining chairs, and I'll demonstrate one of them for you. You just pull the little handle, and then they actually come on out a little more. Yeah, so you can almost, I'm not gonna say you could sleep there, but you could dang near sleep there if you wanted to. It reclines all the way back. Um, this um, seat on the end and the other end has heat, and they also have built-in vibrating massagers. How about that? Nice lighting. And I, I don't know if that changes colors. I think it just stays red, but it may change colors too. Um, electric fireplace, got that dude cranked up. It's a little chilly here today in Kentucky. So got that guy running, feels amazing. Big TV, um, overhead bunk. So you got someone can sleep up there, little private sleeping area. Now back in the garage, uh, 12 and a half foot of garage space, rubber coin floor, um, this one is prepped for a washer and dryer up in the front. I'll show you guys when we go up in the master bedroom area. It is already prepped for a washer and dryer. But so this table comes up, you flip it over, uh, it latches in, it sits here going down the road. Um, these chairs fold over and how they do, you just kind of pull the back and they literally just roll forward and it turns into a flat bed. So you've got like a queen size bed there, a queen size bed there, um, I'm gonna say a king, might be a queen, but I think it's a king size up in the master. Then you got the little bunk overhead that we just showed you. So you got two, four, six, seven, and then that's not even counting someone that wants to sleep on the couch or in one of those recliners. So um, sleeps a bunch of people. Uh, the garage area uh, also has its own air conditioning, as you can see overhead there. And then they'll, those doors slide, so they slide back and forth. And then you can also open them up, obviously, to pull your Razor, your Harley motorcycles, whatever you plan on hauling back here. Um, the bedroom has its own TV overhead there, and then its own full bath. Now, not a lot of room, but hey, would you rather have just a little room with a toilet or have your own shower? I'm going to lean towards your own shower. Overhead vent, pull all the steam out while you're taking a shower, little sink. I like the grand design. I've sold a few toy haulers, very impressed with the quality. Um, you know, it seems like when one of these comes in used, there's always 55 different things that you've got to tinker with and, and fix on them. And I found like maybe one or two. And I don't know if the previous owner just took really good care of it or if they just don't have many issues. I'm going to go with don't have many issues, but uh, the previous owner also took very good care of it. Lots of cabinets, lots of storage in it. So the second full bath is right here. And this bath is a little bigger. So you've got your toilet here on the left, sink, vanity area, overhead, mirror, medicine cabinet. And then you've got the shower. So it's, uh, it's, it is a step through or walk in shower, but it's got a little, maybe a six or eight inch ledge down there. So if you had a little kid, a little baby, wanted to give them a bath down in there, you could easily do that. Sliding glass doors, you can see here on the shower with an overhead skylight, and there's also a vent in this one too. So plenty of ventilation to um, take a shower, do your business in there. And All right, here we go. So into the master. I'm going to say that's a king-size bed. Again, I, I didn't read the specs all the way through or either that or I don't remember, but I believe it's a king. Um Another roof air up here. So you got three roof airs total. Um, got some storage area over here to the right of the bed. And then up here is where I was telling you, it's already prepped for the washer and dryer hookup. So all that's already in, you can use it as closet space, but if you need the washer dryer combo, we do have them in stock. Uh, you've got a little wardrobe area, sliding doors, some storage there. And then back on this side, more storage drawers to put your socks and your undies and stuff, and then a little TV overhead. So 45 overall, uh, 45 foot overall length. I think it's like 13 foot four inches tall. So this is a big one. Um, roughly 33 foot of living space, 12 and a half foot garage, um, three slides, 2020 model. Again, it's a grand design, momentum, 
397th. Let's go around the outside one more time. It's got the 5,500 watt Onan generator. Uh, it is propane, so propane fired. You've got two 30 pound cylinders on this one. So plenty of propane on board um, to take you through. Shoot, I bet you could camp on two 30 pound cylinders for two or three months using this thing full time. Plenty of propane and easy to take off and, and get filled as well. Financing available, trade-ins accepted. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales. Check us out online at chasecoach.com. We don't do a whole lot of the toy haulers, so I tried to um, go around this one and just give you a quick overview of what we've got here, but uh, took this unit on trade here towards a, a Super C uh, a couple months ago and finally got it worked through our shop, got it all detailed up and, and uh, ready to get it online here and get her sold. So let me know if I can help you. Again, we can deliver it nationwide. We also have some great financing options and would love to earn your business. Uh, my cell phone number, we'll put it up there on the screen. So call or text with any questions. And uh, again, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for tuning in and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to uh, gain as many followers on YouTube. Uh, we're getting a lot of good response from the content that we're uploading. So would love to... Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.